Santana Twain come in there. I was about to get my shit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Late Night Show with Richie Fontaine. My name is Richie, and this is Mozart's Orchestra. From what I understand, this is somewhat of the orchestra. And then there's a band tryouts. Orchestrator as well over there is what we like to call him around these parts. Uh, before we go ahead and get into the show, I have, of course, an amazing guest coming on once again. Before we get into the show, I wanted to catch y'all posts on this, okay? I wanted to catch how you breathe on this. If Kiki Palmer was your girl, you at the house with your stupid baby, and you see her all of a sudden showing her ass to Usher, she in there, look at this, US, look at this, Raymond, how you go? Because me personally, I would have stole her money, flew to Vegas, and dumped there at her hotel. And I would have bought a first class flight, and I would have stole her credit card and got a meal that I wouldn't have ate. That's just me, though, personally. Come on now. Come on now. It ain't going to be that. It ain't going to be that. You don't have to call. You got to call me first. The fuck is this? Trying to tell me. Then it's going to call that man broke all over the internet. And. <laughs> Welcome to the Late Night Show, man. Once again, we appreciate you guys for coming through, hanging out with us tonight. I have an amazing guest, a really good friend of mine, an amazing producer in the city, as well as a rapper, as well as a scam artist. Um, he's done some things to Target. They deserved it, in my opinion, personally. Uh, he And he can't get you some power at half off. If you need some electricity in your house, contact my guy. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for my man. Bud, what's going on? <laughs> My man, Bud, thank you for coming on to the show tonight. We appreciate you, of course, for hanging out with us. Just in case, of course, you missed it, this is Mozart's Orchestra, and then, of course, the new orchestrator yeah. over there in the corner. <laughs> so as we work through the show, you know, you get you acquainted. But, of course, like I told everybody about the half-off power, is that a thing, or did I just put that out there for no reason? I might, I might be able to. Hip, yeah. He didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say no. Uh, so, um, of course, first things first, man, we want to hear about the single that's out. Um, I was just, of course, playing it on the before you walked in here, had the boys turned up. Tell us, man, of course, number one, name it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And, that of course, is. yeah. Uh, it's uh, Gucci Socks. It's off my last album called Bud. This shit icy. Come on now. But this shit icy, for those who don't know, one of, of course, the biggest producers in the city of Dallas, as well as uh, the country within itself, working with some of the biggest names out this city, as well as in the rap game itself. Tell me, Bud. Um, of course, being intricate in some of the hits, the real big hits that has come out, in this, out of the city. What do you feel as though is your, I would say, your main niche in the game right now for the city? Uh, engineer, you know. Recording the music, mixing it, mastering it. I'm a producer. I'm always be a producer. Always. But like, as far as engineering it and actually like getting it sounding good. So, what made you decide to go ahead and dip your toe into the rap game? Then you got it. You got a full. I'm, you got a, a, a album. You got eighteen thousand singles. I know. I've heard them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's too easy. I hear that. You know what I mean? Then I'm, I'm making music every day. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. Might as well dip in there. Absolutely. Hell, if you I these new niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, really, it come from me giving people lines. Like you know, they'll oh, be facts. in the recording, yeah. and I'll be yeah. like, "No, nah, say this." And so it's like, it's I mean, yeah. I mean, let me save some of them lines for yeah. you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, sir. So, who? Uh, tell me, what is the either the biggest record or the biggest album that you feel like you've engineered on so far? Uh, the biggest song I would say would be That's On Me. Come on now. Yeah, Yellow Beezy, That's On Me, yeah, baby. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> the song didn't get as big, but the biggest record would probably be Restroom Occupied with Yellow Beezy. Oh, okay, gotcha. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Chris Brown vocals. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah like, that's that my shit, different. actually. That that's different. crazy. You guys, okay, I didn't know you was on that, but okay. That's my joint right there. So uh, being, of course, in the game, have you had an opportunity to work with or, um, you know, have the opportunity to at least meet some of the big producers, of course, that you sought out growing up? Uh, somewhat. I've met a few, but, like, I'm still active, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still meeting so, yeah. people every day, still, still yeah. learning every day. If you had the opportunity, what is one of the producers you'd love to work with? If mm -hmm. you had the opportunity to engineer an entire album that this producer, of course, has uh, uh, made the beats for, who would that be? Probably Timbler. Come on now. Timbo within himself. Yeah. yeah. I, I went to a, um, I went to Jay-Z's uh, 
nine four 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 concert, the one before that, Holy Grail concert, Magna oh, Carta. Yeah. And uh, he gave Tim a whole set within yeah. itself, and he had his band up there, and he was building all his beats from the past in front of us. And I was like, oh, this nigga's fucking amazing. Oh, I yeah. had no clue. Dude. I knew he was bad, but I didn't know he was that bad. And then he made Big Pimpin' on the stage, which was unbeknownst to me. Oh, you didn't know that? I didn't know that until he oh, did yeah. it on the stage. I was like, this, yeah, the man is bad. He's so a different kind of monster. Completely. No, he's completely. A kind of monster. Absolutely. What do you feel as though... Um, of course, just for the city of Dallas within itself, as it attempts to, of course, still uh, elevate its sound in, in, the, in the culture of music, what do you feel like is missing, if anything, or what do you feel like can help um, boost the sound to get to a more popular oh, level? The sound is there. I just feel like the city has no business. Okay. okay. Like, nobody does business. They want. They can make the music. We can make the, the, the records are easy to make, but... It's the business taking care of. Absolutely. So, in, in a sense of people doing bad business or just simply. Oh, they ain't doing no business at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of. I guess they're they, not doing I shit. Guess <laughs> bad business. They, you know, be, they, they, know, they ain't doing no business at all. So, you know, when a record come out, you know what I mean? It's people that work and pertain to that record that don't get recognized, don't get paid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And eventually, you know, it seemed like not a bad thing in the beginning, but eventually that shit comes. Yeah, if you get it, if I, if you, if I hear it on you twice, then I'm gonna have to trust it for the third time, for sure. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, in, in that sense, do you feel as a producer you've ran into um, a lot of rappers who are either doing bad business or simply have no clue what the hell they're doing outside of their music? No clue what they're doing. I run into a lot of no clues. They don't have no clue. Yeah. At all. And that's why I feel like that's what the city need. They need business. And if that's we had boy. more business, then, you know, it'd probably be a lot more names. How does that look infrastructure-wise? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> because you go, you look at a place like Atlanta and it's built on business. Yeah. Black business. At that. That's facts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, Everybody like, oh my God, people don't fuck with each other. Yeah, because y'all don't know how to do business. I can't fuck with you. If I'm a top selling artist and you are up and coming, how am I supposed to work with you if you can't even get the business right? Yeah. And I see, that's so simple. I can't lend you a hand because I don't either I don't know my business or you don't know yours. We two stupid niggas on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that look like. <laughs> so, uh, so let me ask you this then. Of course, I'm, I, I of course allow you to introduce your record as yeah. well, so everybody can know what's coming up. You got that shit coming. Yeah. Um, if you had the opportunity, in the, if, of course, in this city, give me three artists. Three artists. I'm gonna say three. Four might be tough. Give me three artists you'd make a compilation album with. Mm. They they ain't gotta be on every. Uh, it's gonna be so it's gonna be twelve. It's twelve. It's twelve records. It depends on what we trying to do though. What are you? Are trying we to trying do? to sell records or are we just trying to make good music? I'm not trying to hear no weird shit. That, like don't it don't, makes, it don't makes sell it records records. Well, cause it's like it's a lot of good artists that can make some good music. Yeah, but it's a lot of artists that ain't gonna sell no record. So it's like kind of like money you want to make music. You know what I mean? We can make some good music, but is it gonna sell? Then we selling. We selling. Okay. We Wait selling. So that's why my music don't sell. Because it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I just it's probably, that's that's good. literally it. it. It's probably not good because... <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got a solid team, brother. <laughs> but nah, I would say... Um, Lil Ronnie, oh, Mother yeah. F. Yeah, a bad man, yes sir. Um, because of what he doing, Big X. That's yes sir. Because he's, he's right now. And who is the third? Mm, that's a good one, that third Come on, one. man. Come on, man. Uh, do they got to be a rapper? Nah, hell nah. I, if, if you got some, some neocentric to put in there, it is what it is. Man. But of course, you gonna know how it sounds. So let me hear how, you, if you, if, how it's yeah, gonna sound. Yeah, that'd be a hell of a song with Lil Ronnie, Big X, and Eric about this. Try to tell him. I try <laughs> to tell him. 
That, 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 it's going to work some way. Dollars. It's going to work some way. Yeah. And I don't know exactly how, yet, but it's just going to work some way. If I produce it, it'll work. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I'm, I'll call Big X. I'll call Lil Rami. I'll call Erica Badu tonight. And if it's why I answer that phone, I will be breaking in their homes. That's okay. what we do. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, I mean, all right, bud, so let's do this, man. Introduce the record, G. We about to get the house rocking. We might set this building oh. on fire. Don't worry about that, because we upgrade the next season anyway. So, of course, <laughs> for those who don't know, introduce the record so they can do. Hey, man, this is my new song. Well, it ain't new, but it's new to y'all, but Gucci Socks off the album, Bud, This Shit Ice. You this is the Late Night Show with Richie Fontaine. Man, we'll be right back. <laughs> I just got some new Gucci socks. Check the drip on my watch. It don't tick, it don't top. I got red, I got white. Dot the fed, dot the cop. Bob sled down the block. Getting hair from a bop. Bout the head. I got some niggas that wait on me. I got that K on me. You know that motherfucker. OVO, I got that Drake on me. You just so fake, homie. You just a clown. I put the gas in the wood, burn it down. I brought a pound. You fire that shit up, it don't make a sound. Gucci socks came a long way from the ground. For the crowd, four in the morning, four in the morning, still breaking it down. Just taking the town. Gotta scam a bitch out in DC. I just want to rock it there, BC, BG. Keep a nigga fed, it's a drip in the CC. Call your best friend, we can run it for the three P. I just want to bang, 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 ski, ski, ski. Yeah, I got some money, you can gee, 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 gee. Looking over socks, C, G, 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 G. Said the CBC, you're my project, bitch. Got the EBT, we be smoking big blunts, watching DB. Nigga, this shit ain't no pressure. What is you said? I got some shit. The shit I'm smoking. I'm like you helping. All of my bitches together. I like the fall with leather. I take the trip to a new level. And as for whoever poking that like it was Cruella, you gotta do better. That's just compliment to shoot better. Check the drip on my watch. It don't tick, it don't top. I got red, I got white. Dr. Fed, Dr. Cop. Bob Slid down the block. Getting head from a bop. Bout the head to the spot. Hey, check the drip on my watch. It don't tick, it don't top. I got red, I got white. Dr. Fed, Dr. Cop. Bob Slid down the block. Bout the head to the spot. Hey. Yeah, I just got some new Gucci socks. Hey, hey, cause I just got some new Gucci socks. I forgot to tell him, it's the late night show with Richard Fontaine Mozart, so good shit, we see y'all next time.